Hey, YouTube followers, this is Gary Campbell with Shakura. Hi. Shakura, I met two days ago at the Lincoln Musical Festival, House Music. It was crazy this past weekend. She was drawing, um, doing some artwork. She was drawing her daughter. Here's some of her artwork. Better. Behind us, brother. And um, she's going to tell you a little bit about um, what she does now. She just dropped a load on me. It's like, wow. Um, just tell us about your specialty. Are you crooked over there like you? Are you lean? Am I leaning? No. Yeah, okay. I'm there. I'm here. I'm right. straight. I'm straight. Um, usually I do portraits. Um, well, let's kind of talk about this picture behind us first since we have it here on display. Um, I did this one in 12th grade in high school. I went to a performing arts high school, uh, Rosa Parks High School, fine and performing arts in Patterson, New Jersey. And um, when I started this piece, um, I didn't know where I was going with it. It was the largest piece I've done during that time. Um, and I chose a flower uh, due to the fact that uh, I was in an AP art class and I was told to concentrate on one subject and I was studying the artist uh, named George O'Keefe at the time and she focused her attention mostly on floral design so I really loved her work and I wanted to give it a shot so I tried some of my own and I came, that's where I came up with this one and um, I have maybe four other pieces that I've worked on um, as far as concentrating on floral designs. Um, I've recently started maybe about um, in August of last year, 2014, um, started doing um, pencil drawings, portraits. You and told me about that before. You told me. Yeah. You didn't even get to that. I know, I know. I, I mean, there's so much to talk about. This is the artist. <laughs> yes. I, Tell us about uh, you were just telling me about a project that somebody might want you to, to do the dogs? Yes. Um, I taught my dog to sing. He's a three-pound... Say that again, because they're going to say, <laughs> did she say what? I wish he was here. I uh, taught my dog to sing. She taught her dog to sing. Yeah, I taught him to sing. Uh, actually, you know, I can't take all the credit. Actually, he kind of picked up on it. Um, I sing a lot, and... She's a singer. Yeah. <laughs> I sing from time to time. Um, and uh, at one point in my life, I was doing a lot of traveling in my car, and I had my dog with me a lot, and he just started singing one day out the blue, and it was... When you didn't feed him, he started singing? Yeah, he was hungry, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But, you know, <laughs> it was just, it was fascinating, like, to hear him, you know, just try to hit those notes because most people would think of like he's... But you, you're playing music. Yeah, I play oh, okay. music, but he has his favorite song, which is Kelly Rowland, um, Motivation. It's kind of funny because... That's a free plug for Kelly. Yeah. Rowland. And, um, but so yeah, that was talking about the project I was telling you mm -hmm. about. Um, someone suggested that I do a, open a, put my work in the gallery and have a gallery show of just like pictures, paintings of dogs and have my dog singing for the audience. Which will kind of like draw people. That's exactly how he sounds. No, I'm serious. No. That's, not bad. <laughs> That's not a good thing to say. You know what they call? They call us dogs anyway. Uh, yeah. Wow. But uh, yeah, nah, it's definitely. So tell me, how does your art affect people in terms of how you understand it to affect people? Um, I think my art. I look at it more like um, blessings and uplifting um, spirits, uplifting. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, well, here's a good example. You can give me that example, but I mean, just that flower in the middle, the back there, <laughs> that's like crazy, like a big flower. Yeah, it, it looks yeah. tangible. It's coming off the paper, page, the board. Yeah, I've faces, I think. I try to get as many portraits in as I can. Right, you were telling me you do portraits. Yes, because um, I do feel like my portraits are... Um, 
are blessings. I feel like they wow. create this. I mean, you have to see for yourself. I wish I, I have my stuff with me. You but, look like uh, you was getting ready to go in there. You're like, <laughs> my portraits, mm, they just create. I just have this whole, I've always did this outlook on life. And, you know, and I've always had visions as, you know, I can see things before they happen. And it's kind of hard to tell people that because it's like, you know, most people won't believe me or they think I'm crazy. But, you know. No, we, we, won't, we won't believe she's crazy, <laughs> right? So um, tell me oh, about that spiritual element. Where does that yeah. come from? Because that's definitely a spiritual gift. Actually, in uh, certain religious cir circles, that would be considered prophetic. Okay. Um, where you can see the future, understand the future. But tell us how that spiritual component works. Because this is all about the artist. And we know some artists are weirdos. We call them strange. Yeah. But that's why we bring them along. Because there's other weirdos out there. There's other strange folk. And they don't know about this great artistic powers so tell them about how this works you know you might have a sister out there a sister well a sister an artistic sister or artistic brother that, I have a bunch that of needs those to be right that needs to be groomed that needs to be groomed I want to do one event where I would just have everybody come out and um, talk to me about what's going on in their life and I'll draw portraits I'll make an example out of myself so that everybody can see exactly what I'm talking <laughs> cool. about. And uh, they'll know exactly what I mean when I say I'm not just, you know, any, I'm not your norm.